Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you a quick how-to on installing a Vickers Tactical Plus 2 Glock 43 magazine floor plate by Tango Down. As far as tools we need for this project, got our Glock Armors tool. It's basically a punch. You just want to make sure it's relatively long. You don't want to use something short like a ballpoint pin, something like that. You will not be happy. So first thing we need to do is remove the factory floor plate on this. If you look down at the magazine, there's some notches on the side of the magazine which go into corresponding cutouts on the floor plate. That is locking this piece in here. The other thing is this little tab right here, circular tab. So what we're gonna do, using our armor's tool, our punch, we're basically going to push the plate that's in here under the spring. We're gonna compress the spring, pushing that, and at the same time, we're gonna squeeze, getting those tabs to come in, and slide this plate off so that we can replace it. As I mentioned, those little bastard tabs right there. So I'm gonna depress this down in, and when I do, I'm gonna squeeze really hard until I get this to come. If, for whatever reason, these being brand new, and this is a little bastard, what you can do is put something so you're not gonna mar this, like tape or fabric, and once you press this down, clamp this with something that's gonna give you mechanical advantage, vice grips, pliers, whatever. Basically squeeze it so that you can remove the floor plate. Since this guy is being a little bastard, I'm gonna go ahead and put some fabric here so I didn't end up scratching the outside of the magazine. Get my vice grips where they need to be. Again, take the tool, press that piece down inside the magazine, clamp on it, and pull it out. At this point, I can just slide this base plate off, and make sure you capture everything so it doesn't shoot out. I've now removed this spring with the follower from my Glock 43 magazine, and I've unpackaged my Vickers tactical spring so I need to remove the follower from the stock spring, put it on the new one. For whatever reason, you totally strip these things apart. The one that comes with the Vickers Tactical Plus 2 is larger dimensionally. So all I'm going to do is pull this guy off, strip it off, at which point jam it in. It has some little grooves in there and it's going to capture itself. And at that point, we're ready to put this guy back together. At this point, we're ready to fully assemble this. And fortunately, if you ate a bunch of crayons as a kid, this follower will only go in one way. So we're gonna go ahead, put the follower in, and then compress this spring all the way down, giving us some space over here at the front. So we can take this new floor plate and slide it on. It's gonna get some resistance when it gets to the little tabs here. Uh, right over here on these sides. And at that point, just keep pushing. It'll go past it. And then all the way through, you'll hear it lock into place. At that point, you can see those tabs are locked in right there. We can see that follower plate came all the way down into this extension. At this point, we have successfully installed our Vickers Tactical Tango Down Plus 2 Glock 43 floor plate. All the while, taking note the back of the packaging which states large bold letters the warning that this should only be installed by a professional gunsmith as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time